even though we have a long way to go with the racial lens, I feel like, at least in my generation right now, there's a lot more talk about racial justice and there's a lot more talk about um, how, you know, 400 plus years of racial inequality, now that conversation is surfacing a lot more. But even with that, we're still seeing this, this lack of equality when it comes to gender inclusion. We're seeing this lack of equality when it comes to um, dis disabled individuals inclusion. Like we're not seeing these other forms of marginalization in these services. So yeah, it's great if we have, you know, a part of a court system or a, a foster care agency that says we're going to take the extra step to talk about racial inequality. But again, if you're not looking at it from an intersectional perspective, you're still failing a black individual who's black and gay. You're still failing a black individual who's black and disabled. You're not looking at the other the other forms of oppression and the other things that make up the whole person. So in turn, you're failing many of the people that you serve, whether that be members, clients, constituents, on whatever level. So I think for me, one of the biggest gaps that I'm seeing is this lack of inclusion for, for other things outside of, you know, police inequality and, and race. 